Google will give Gemini 2.5 Pro worth 35,000 rupees free for 18 months for Geo Unlimited 5G users. The Geo moment in AI has arrived. The Geo moment in AI has finally arrived. At this time, Google is the one lighting the fuse. So in 2016, Geo made mobile data free and the rest folks is history. Today that moment repeats, not for data, but for intelligence. Google will give Gemini 2.5 Pro worth 35,000 rupees free for 18 months for Geo Unlimited 5G users. And the rollout of the Google AI Pro plan starts with 18 to 25 year olds and then expands to all eligible Geo users. Activation is inside the My Geo app. So clearly, this is a distribution play to define the world's largest AI user base before anyone else can. So what's actually inside the bundle? So Gemini 2.5 Pro access in the Gemini app, which is, by the way, Google's most capable AI model. You also get higher generation limits for images, which is the Nano Banana, and for video models, including the VO 3.1. You also get expanded notebook LM for study and research workflows. And folks, you get 2TB cloud access across photos, drive, Gmail, and also you can WhatsApp, uh, you, get, you can back up all of your WhatsApp chats on Android. And you also have native Android integrations that surface AI across device tasks. And the price to the user is zero rupees for 18 months. But the price to the ecosystem is that habit formation is now going to happen at a population scale. And remember, everyone is offering free AI because let's look at the sequence India is driving this year. First, we had the Airtel and the Perplexity partnership where Airtel offered Perplexity Pro for one year and that was worth around 17,000 rupees. Then we have the upcoming OpenAI's Chat GPT Go plan, which is going to go free for a year for Indians. It's a must-grab deal ahead of OpenAI's Dev Day Exchange event in Bengaluru. And now we have Google and Geo offering the Google AI Pro plan for free for 18 months. And that, I'm going to repeat, is worth 35,000 rupees. So you have three different stacks for one market with the same playbook. Because they're going to make advanced AI free, they're going to build daily usage, and they're going to own the relationship. And yes, we at front page called this the AI access war early when we broke the chat GPT go free story and even before that flagged Reliance Pivot to Reliance Intelligence. AI Infra, you have the Geo Brain, Phone Line AI and of course you have the Jamnagar cloud region with Google and a meta joint venture for Enterprise Llama. Folks, but why India? Remember, India trains the world. You have the youngest large scale population cheapest mobile data, and the world's largest Android plus UPI footprint. And of course, you have 29 million chat GPT downloads in 90 days earlier this year. This marked the fastest consumer AI adoption curve on the planet. And of course, India is a telecom-driven distribution trail that can flip a switch and reach hundreds of millions of users overnight. So if AI is the new internet, you can say that India is the new homepage. And the platform that trains on India doesn't just serve India, it outgeneralizes globally. Because the hidden engine folks is a mix of compute, energy, and cloud on Indian soil. So you have free AI at the edge. It's only going to work if infrastructure at the core is real. Because you have Reliance building around 3 gigawatts of AI data center capacity in Jamnagar, all backed by green energy. And they also have the Reliance Intelligence as the AI infra and the services arm. And then they also have Geo Brain as the enterprise operating layer. Then you have Geo Phone Call, which is AI bringing AI to voice feature on feature phones, which can record, transcribe, translate, and summarize all of your audios. Then, of course, we have Google. They're building the one gigawatt AI hub in Vishakapatnam. It's going to be the largest outside the United States. And it's tied to new subsea cable routes and their partnership with Indian partners with Adani Connex and Airtel. So let's look at the partnership fabric because Google and Reliance now have the cloud region. And then at Jamnagar, you have Meta and Reliance joint venture to distribute Llama for Indian enterprises. 
Look, we at front page have been extensively mapping this. The front end giveaways make sense only because the back end compute is being planted here. So wherever AI is hosted, whether it's power, GPUs or fiber, is where pricing power and policy leverage eventually concentrate together. So what changes on day one? So for users, we have students and Gen Z, as I mentioned, 18 to 25 year old age group. So they now get access to Notebook LM and Gemini, which act as a powerhouse for study, research, interview preparation, coding practice, content creation without hitting a paywall. And for creators and small and micro businesses. So you have Vue 3.1, Nano Banana and 2 terabytes of cloud. So you have ad cuts, reels, promos, product shots and catalogs without any extra SaaS. And Android users now get on-device plus in-app assist, which means you can summarize, translate, plan, you know, file backups, and you know, they all become default behaviors and not just AI features. This collapses the AI trial paywall and the churn loop. And this use curve compounds for 18 months, long enough to make behavior permanent. And now, Let's look at what changes after 12 and the 18 months. So you have, you know, the math essentially that's going to flip. Not via app fees, but via stickiness, storage, search and developer upgrades. So the developer gravity also is going to change because if every user has pro capable AI, developers will build assisted flows with default and, you know, across sectors in education, health, agriculture and local commerce. And of course, you're also going to have an evaluation battleground because users will naturally be A-B testing Gemini Pro versus ChatGPT Go versus Perplexity Pro inside India's unique code mixing, low light, low bandwidth realities. These models will learn here first. And of course, we're going to talk about risks and guard leads because now we're going to have lock-in versus choice because bundles can tilt user habits. They're good for access but you got to watch out for switching frictions post the free period. And then privacy and data residency is also going to be a huge factor because with WhatsApp and Google Drive backups and AI assists, clarity on where data is processed or stored will matter for citizens and regulators both. And then we also have safety and misuse because ProTire brings AI for millions of users. It's going to use image, video and misuse concerns, expect watermarking, rate limits and rate teaming policies to tighten the safety guardrails. And then comes the compute sustainability factors because 4 gigawatt plus of AI data center plants need stable tariffs, a mix of renewable energy, heat reuse, water stewardship for long-term economics. And this folks is the post data playbook. Because now they're all making AI free at the front end, they're planting compute at the back end and their locking habits targeting the 18 to 25 year age group first across the nation, then they're going to monetize persistence across storage, devices, enterprise and developer ecosystems. So now they're going to negotiate from strength because you have the model, infra and distribution layers all on the home turf. So it's the same flywheel if you remember that made Geo do the rail for mobile you know, a decade ago and now they're going to rerun it for the intelligence decade going forward. So our final take is that the geo moment in AI has arrived. This time is delivered by Google, distributed by Reliance and amplified by India. And this is more than just generosity. It's a very critical strategy. It's not a subscription, but a systems bet. Because now OpenAI's ChatGPT Go is going to go free. Airtel's Perplexity Pro is already free. And now Google's AI Pro plan is also going to be free and not just on isolated promotions. Because they're opening shots in a multi-year push to make India the largest trained AI user base, while the compute that powers it is also built on the Indian soil. So if free data built online India, free AI is simply going to build intelligent India. And the decade won't be won by whoever has the cleverest model. It's going to be won by whoever puts intelligence into the most number of hands at the fastest speeds and the lowest costs. Let us know what you think about this in the comments below.